Hi all, welcome to Panthic e-learning. In this video, we are going to see how to uh, create that particular virtual wall. Like within that particular virtual wall, we will be just uh, pasting some sort of images. So how to create that particular virtual wall using Python OpenCV. So what is that particular virtual wall? For example, if you just take any type of VR devices or AR devices, MR devices, we are having an option like whatever the particular virtually we are just displaying, it will be displayed in the particular surroundings, okay, where the reality will be doesn't affect it. So which position means? So this is one of the virtual wall where we can see all our apps. With the help of hand interaction, we will be able to touch. But here we are not going till uh, hand interaction. We are going till displaying the particular image into the virtual wall based on the axis. So likewise, this portion is also known as a virtual wall. So in between, the person is just viewing with his photo lens. So this is an example of hollow lens. So this particular portion, how it is able to apply. Now, apart from that, the gestures and at the same time, all the particular views, everything it is done only with the help of virtual wall. So virtual wall plays a major important technique inside the virtual reality portion. So entire video we will be discussing how it can be done with the help of OpenCV. So now what are all the effects we have been used for this particular technique. The first technique is mirror effect. What is the purpose of mirror effect over here? Whenever we are taking the particular data it should not be reversed up over there. Because based on that particular user perspective it should be always in the form of the same view whatever they are going to see. So therefore we are supposed to apply the particular mirror effect over here then only the user will be able to see. For example if we are just taking this menu and if that mirror effect is not applied means therefore the Skype, Netflix everything it will be in the form of a reversed form. Okay we have to we are like seeing them from the back side. But they should be like uh, reflected towards us. So that particular motion is required. For that portion only we are using this mirror effect. So rather than that mirror effect one more it is there. Homography. So homography means camera rotation or the viewpoint rotation. That is known as the homography part. So here you have that particular image. If you want to view our particular view it will be in the form of a curved one. So that curved one it is made in the uh, in the section of homographical point only. So that point we will be able to see in 3D part like now this is in the particular 2D view. We are making it a 3D view means this it has been turned into this side okay why the reason is if you are going inside the 2d view means the same 3d shape itself i am taking as example so on to that particular 2d view it is still seeing as a circle if i am changing into 3d means here we can see the other part likewise for these object also so now it is a square it's a cube cube or cuboid okay so once if you want to go for that virtual reality applications means the angle and the perspective view should be same. Okay. So like, uh, yeah, I think only one we will be able to. 
keep up over here okay so like this we can assume this way also the mirror effect can be kept over to the this side i'm just uh, converting into mixer reality so uh, here everyone can just see that particular view okay so these kind of particular views only here we will be able to make that homographic application so this is what it is known as the homography technique and along with the mirror effect for wall application Now let us see for the other parts. So here we have some input images. The input images is nothing but this is known as that particular template. So the, where and all the template is kept means these portions. This is a ready-made template. So these templates only so whatever the image uh, we are going to provide as input means those images will be fixed inside the template uh, from where the particular images are taken means uh, not from here yeah uh, the output will be like this like this only the output will be there the input images are taken from the videos okay so through that particular video we will be able to provide any sorts of image as a random one that will be the complete uh, ratio here we are going to keep so first we are going to start with ar.py so that is one of the package which we are going to use which calculates the euclidean distance so inside this Euclidean distance, uh, first uh, P0, P1. So that will be the point 0 and point 1. And between that we are purposefully finding the normalized value of line angle using NumPy. Okay, so here also we are using that OpenCV to collect that particular image and reshape it to get the corners of that image. So two points will be taken and we have to find the particular markers. So markers are nothing but what we have already kept it over there. Uh, that particular corners has been taken. The threshold is 40 for that. And color variant th threshold is for 50. Then we are supposed to find the length of the image. And according to that the copy will be taken. Again by using the Gaussian kernel function. We will be applying the filter range for the each and every kernel value. So from that we are supposed to blur and apply the median blur then hawk circles so through that gradient we will be able to collect the entire format in order to place into the four circles over there so that entire section it is completely taken from the process of applying from the cv2 dot circles anyway our target the marker is also known as the particular target over here which is also known as the marker based augmented reality like that because into a real video frame only we are going to insert the image the random images are there and we are going to find out the length of the markers also from that half circles so if length of the mark circles is not equal to 4 then the template is none okay because that particular markers must be 4 the 4 coordinates must be there and the target images also should be there then only it will be able to apply that rotated version of the template image the rotated version only here it is known as the mirror effect then uh, finally finally finding out the maximum localization and minimum localization value and based on that particular euclidean distance and the marker value 
that image and that frame it has been completely posted in a particular way okay so this is for finding the markers as fast as possible by color conversion method so this is all calculating the distance so the euclidean distance with the lambda section it is being calculated in each and every step by step process this is for rotating the image this function belongs to rotating order that particular markers because our markers are completely different okay so here we can see that marker changes so that particular changes only here also we are applying it now uh, from that particular average neighborhood data it is being taken in the form of gray scale from that gray value draw the box according to the particular line which we are going to work over here okay so that particular line it will be automatically taken as the input so here we are using that particular cvt dot line in order to apply that particular marker range So here normally we have just taken that particular color we are taking that input image whichever has been applied and finally the video also will be reconstructed along with this so that particular section here it is taken in the form of the marker 1 marker 2 and marker 3 So the next is projection part so from this particular projection part uh, here we will be able to apply in the form of entire required portion so like uh, collecting from different source like image shape then copying of image a as well as image b flipping so the flipping is done with the help of a mirror technique and finally the mapping also done based on the homography so we have seen the different angles of input images so that will be the complete method which we will be able to apply for this so this are all the backward functions which we are going to apply for our part so like uh, interpolation calculation is done then back wrap calculation so again we have to reconstruct the particular image so that is nothing but called as back wrap then uh, four point finding transformation so that is also applied over here finally everything will be taken in the form of video capture and it will be converted into the images the next part is we have to take that input image and uh, input videos the width and height is 800 comma 600 the test one carries the image output image then template along with the uh, image reading path the test two will be also will be taken in the form of same like uh, for each and every images we will be taking the different different parts test three will be like taking the form of multiple section of input images and creating that particular scenes by resizing and finding the homography section so the angle will be changed up over there and the last test it is applied for the the same homography section with inversion format so finally this will be regenerated in the form of a video so that will be the most final format with box and without boxes so this code contains for uh, reconstructing of data so that reconstruction it is done based on the video frames and generators with the help of height width and depth of each and every images and height and width has been already declared 800 comma 600 
so rest all depends upon that particular video as well as whatever we are providing as input for the folders so the same application can also be done with the help of webcam but here i am just uh, showing the uh, complete output only for the purpose of images which makes a little bit uh, quicker kind of output section so finally all the tests will be executed for the real time process uh, so now let me just run the module usually we don't have any kind of images of over there okay so this will be that particular images now let us see how the video wall has been arrived so now this is taken as that particular coordinates x of 113 comma y of 39 345 y of 48 354 y21 150 and 141 so this is one shape this is another two shapes three and finally the hog lens has been drawn so the frame has been generated at the four marker points then homographic view of the same marker points the another homographic view Okay, so this one all comes under the test 2 part. Yeah, now the image has been inserted onto the particular format in different different angle. So whatever the images which we have been provided as input, those inputs has been uh, easily taken up over here based on that entire hog lens. So this is that particular Euclidean distance between the two marker points, sorry, the four marker points and based on that, the homography is tilting that particular view of the complete video, then inserting that image only in that particular four marker points by resizing it and flipping the image, okay, by resizing and flipping that particular image. And from that, we are able to obtain the right perspective result as well as detect zone and marker zone. So this will be that complete data which will be able to work for virtual wall. So this application we will be using it in uh, many kinds of way especially for mixed reality devices virtual reality device uh, to play different different videos and in our system itself if you are just splitting nowadays in windows 11 if you are splitting the screen so that is also a homographic view only because our screen is straight so we are able to view only uh, two videos or four videos within a single screen if we keep a curve monitor which is being connected in 0 to 180 degree means everything will be integrated this particular way only so this is all our basic applications uh, which we are seeing in our day-to-day -day life so that we are supposed to relate with the uh, virtual reality concept why means for virtual reality this plays a major role as we have seen in the starting of that particular video how to integrate uh, how does it got integrated inside the hololens or any of the vr boxes whatever that particular frames which we are seeing so everything it is done with the help of computer vision only and that is the reason we are just moving on to the computer vision basics so this is the particular complete way to work it out okay guys uh, thank you all